I'm here on the banks of the Brunette River near my home in New Westminster uh, to talk about salmon rivers and certainly the Brunette is the low, uh, lower mainland uh, salmon river. It has salmon and trout and I'm here because all over the province of British Columbia there's been a virtual gold rush unleashed by the 2002 BC Energy Plan. This was the plan uh, uh, set up in 2002 which allows private companies to stake wild rivers all over the province of BC for the production of hydropower and it's caused real problems not only with our environment but also uh, with the economy of British Columbia. Essentially it allows private companies to stake these rivers to dam them and divert them for the production of hydropower and then BC Hydro is ordered to buy that power at rates far above market rates. 50 billion, 50 billion dollars worth of uh, long-term contracts have already been signed with private hydro uh, companies. Of course these companies are not after the rivers like the Burnett, they're after the mountain streams where the energy to be found is much higher. Uh, when you dam and divert and put these these streams in, in pipes. But the people of British Columbia's energy is pretty high too and people in community and after community have come together to defend their wild rivers. On October 12, 2012 I headed up to the little village of Egmont on the Sunshine Coast. There was an environmental assessment hearing on a proposed private power project for Narrows Inlet and I wanted to go and see what was happening and to register the Wilderness Committee's opposition. Part of the proposal is to put a giant pipe in this lake, Ramona Lake, and funnel the water down to a powerhouse far below. Just over the ridge is Tyson Lake this was done. A pipe was put in the bottom of Tyson Lake to produce hydropower with disastrous consequences. When the water was lowered, it sparked an underwater landslide. Silt was released into the pipe. It poured down on the river system below all through salmon and trout habitat. The Globe and Mail reported that the Zuni River downstream changed color to the color of mud and even Narrows Inlet changed its color as a result of the silt outflow. Tyson Lake Power Project to this day is not running at full speed because of concerns over another possible silt slide. And yet, strange as it may seem, the same thing that was done to Tyson Lake is now being proposed for Ramona Lake and in fact a whole cluster of watersheds in this area is being targeted for private power production. So when I walked into the meeting hall I walked into a bunch of people that wanted some answers. Bob Price is my name and I'm here because I have property in Narrows Inlet and this power project has uh, bottom drill Tyson Lake and is dumping massive amounts of uh, ice scoured silt into prime fish habitat and everybody in government enforcement, protection and assessment is doing absolutely nothing to defend the environment in Narrows Inlet. So tonight, uh, usually at these uh, environmental Environmental assessment hearings. There's a question and answer period, but uh, they tell environmental assessment office tells me they're not going to do that anymore. Do you... Well, they don't want anybody to ask embarrassing questions, and they don't want to have to answer questions, and so they don't have to feel accountable to anybody. If you can uh, kill fish, spoil rivers, and uh, ruin people's drinking water, why would you feel accountable and answer anybody's questions? 
second under God, I think, is their motto. They must have it on their door. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us today? No, I think that about sums it up. All righty, thank you very much. Thanks, Joe. You have a layer, and you're saying there are no fish above that. There's, what? there's no fish above the fort. And there's no fish, there's a fish down here. Oh, yeah. Where's the fish? I can tell by the name. Right below. And I can't read it. Right at the place where it gets very steep. There's a fish barrier on Ramona. And above that, there's no fish. Yeah, but you're, you're, how does it work? We have, we have fish here that are above where you see the fish barrier is. This is in the pool right at the outlet of your... This is above, we we uh, had this pool meters. checked and we couldn't find any fish in Well, there's, there's fish here in the pool and I've got many more, many more photos. And it, this is a... Taken right here and this has been documented and I haven't found it. I made this up and I painted this picture. So if this is how accurate is the other information? Come and talk to uh, Dr. Bates. Don't worry, Ken, a picture's worth a thousand words. He's the guy who did the picture. People not given the right to a public open house question and answer period. Citizens uh, facing company officials trying to convince them there's no fish in their rivers when they know their rivers are full of fish. These are all too common occurrences as this gold rush to privatize, dam and divert BC's precious wild rivers continues. If you want to join the fight to keep BC's rivers wild, go to the Wilderness Committee's website that's wildernesscommittee.org. That's wildernesscommittee.org. This has been Joe Foy for the Wilderness Committee. Another on-the-ground report. Bye for now.